And a low fin is the process of cutting grooves, spiral grooves into the outside diameter of the product. The low fin is capable in many of the alloys, whether it be copper, stainless steel alloys, 300 or 400 alloys are common, um, nickel alloys, uh, carbon alloys, uh, aluminum, brass, uh, copper nickel, any of the normally manufacturable or formable alloys are able to adhere to this process. It's commonly used and the material is selected based upon the environment it goes into. Again, if you need high heat transfer or if you need um, uh, uh, excellent heat transfer properties, then you would pick a copper product or a copper alloy. If you need something more into the corrosion resistant, you can pick a nickel alloy, or in this case, this is a, a uh, 400 series stainless steel. Um, so you can pick something that is specific to the application. The process here for the low fin tube is uh, also includes very high fin counts. Uh, fin counts can go up to uh, 40 fins per inch at energy transfer, uh, typically down to about 19 fins per inch. One of the very popular things that you see in a low fin tube is not just enhancement on the outside of the tube, which will have the fins in high pitch on the outside, but as, at, as this sample shows, you can also have enhancement with a low fin on the inside. So you can get increased surface area, increased heat transfer uh, properties on both the outside and the inside of the tube with low fin, which is unique to that process.